Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Mission sequence starts. Talk to me about flare networks. Flare networks. They're doing some very interesting stuff with something called the Spark Token. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. Your life is your life. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the XRP Cowboy. Hey, this is Billy. And where is the Batman? We're gonna get into it. Quick video. This is the Flare commercial. We talked about this over a year and a half ago. And the ideology is becoming the reality. They may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Is this just <clears throat> Guys, do your daughter a favor. We choose my fucking roadies, my dreamers, my dreamers. We choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, because it is hard. And we know the fastest way to get to fucking point, from point A to where we want to be, to where we want to stay, is a straight line. We put the time in. We put the pain in. Now it's time for it to pay off. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's get into this rant. We're going to make it quick. Computer play. <clears throat> Computer volume eight. Got a picture of your house and you're standing by the door. It's black and white and fading and it's looking pretty warm. See the factory that I worked. See the wedding in the back. The memory engraved the man they're really coming back I don't need to be the king of the world as long as I'm the hero of this little girl heaven isn't too far away closer to it every no matter what your friends might say, 
How I love the way you move And the sparkle in your eyes There's a color deep inside the light Blue suburban skies When I come home late at night And you're in bed asleep I'll wrap my arms around you So I can feel you breathe I don't need to be your superman. Computer off. I'm taking a ride with my best friend's girl. <laughs> and where's the Batman? You know, it seems like, um, you know, he is the Dark Knight. But yet he has this, um, not old... Co, not old guard mentality about him. It's like new guard. So I'm confused. Why do I keep seeing XRP influencer accounts hacked and inactive for weeks, months at a time, or suspended? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Where are you, Elon Musk? But enough about that. We will see. We will see it all. I mean, we choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's fucking hard. Well, fuck. Here's the thing. I got the money-making group chiming in, or the wizard club. I was actually, I was talking to Jungle Inc. the other day, and you know, we've been through a few of these, you know, cycles where it's really rocking. I mean, I've been in this space since a little... Earlier in 17, so I felt the fucking pain, and I've made the gain, and I've lost the gain. I felt the pain, and I've made the gain, and I've lost the pain. <laughs> you would have thought I, kn I was nuts for not selling. And I've, qu I've questioned my decisions, because I could have bought back lower. But if I would have sold, it would have went against everything, my whole belief system on XRP, which is why I didn't. And that's knowing tomorrow could change my fucking life. And it has changed my life a few times. And then it changed it back to where it was. I just know. Just like I was watching Dumb Money today. And I cried when, when he was speaking in front of, I think it was Congress. I mean, it, you know, it's weird because it was kind of a pump kind of thing. But I think his belief system was pure and good, which is why he didn't sell. You know, maybe he did. You know, maybe he just put those numbers up. I don't know how you hold that high. I don't care. He mooned like 20, 30 times. I don't know how you don't take profit, but so there, who knows? But um, it just put tears to my eyes because, you know, I saw these similarities. He's drinking beer. He's not cookie cutter. He's preaching. He's being honest. He's telling truth, talking about things that matter. And he has this belief system that is pure it reminds me of this space it reminds me of what we're doing here but anyways it was it was great but um let's get into it the greatest manipulation and lie a, pr a president has ever told or convinced people of was we're not in a recession when we're in a recession while changing the rules to what a recession is when we have fucking interest through the roof inflation through the roof and the and, and they want to and the funny thing is is the inflation of goods is happening they wanted to blame it on uh supply chain and all that but it's happening because of the inflation of interest rates to, you know, they're saying we bring interest rates up so people have higher mortgages, car payments, all these things, so they can't afford as much. So ultimately, they can't buy as much. That'll bring prices down. But I will tell you, and if you pay attention, all these prices started fucking skyrocketing. Besides this, the goods for the pandemic, that's going to happen. But after, I mean, really rocketing, well... Coming off the pandemic. And then, to make that sustainable, they started raising interest rates. 
which makes prices go up because all these businesses, you know, they're fucking, they, they're leveraged to the gill and loans and debt, so they have to pay their bills. So they're raising the prices or sustaining the prices. And yes, they are starting to go down, people say. And, they're, and if they tell you they're at 3%, maybe they are for the year. But, but they're at like fucking 28% for if you average the last two years. Because the top 10 consumers' goods were up like 30 fucking percent. The things we spend most of our money on, they don't measure it that way. They'll say 9%. See how they get you? And why is that good? Why is... The cost of products good. Well, if you you printed a lot of fucking money, and you wanted to get some of it back, and you charge something called a sales tax, and then all of a sudden the prices of those items got went up, twenty percent, ten percent, three hundred percent chips, maybe more. Chips, not the fucking kind we eat. You're gonna get a higher sales tax, aren't you? I mean, it's just keeping it simple, right? You know, so here we go. Here I come again now, baby. Like a dog in he. So that is the greatest lie, you know, Biden administration's ever told. That we're in a recession, but not in a recession. And why is that important for the administration? Because what's going to happen, by the time we come out of this recession, it'll be pretty standard timing for a recession you know, a couple of years, you know, we'll be into April, May, June, six months before a fucking election, and all of a sudden the economy will be doing better, and it'll keep getting better, and it'll be praised as preventing an in, 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 imminent fucking recession. Like, we know it's coming. They've made that crystal clear. It's how bad will it be? And it would all be avoided. Because of the, the administration. But what they didn't tell you is, we were in it the whole fucking time. It's already here. It's almost over, my roadies. It's the plan. You're not going to go into an election in a recession. I'm telling you that right now. Not if you're trying to fucking win. Not if the old guard is trying to prevent the new guard from coming, from coming in. You know, but, oh, anyways, I, I was sitting, I was talking to John Link, and we've been through all these cycles. And I'm, I had to text him. I had to say, dude, not TNA, not fucking technical analyst shit here. It's just, it's almost like when you, you study something, you learn something so much with, like, a stock. I used to do this. I almost could feel the down days before they happen. And that was the feeling I was having. Even though the charts are, I, I, I don't think they're looking that good for XRP, but... <clears throat> Bitcoin's up. I mean, you know, but I know what I know. And I, I do feel they're really good because I have this feeling, you know, inside. And it's not like when the price moves really high and you get excited and you're pro projecting more uh, higher higher price point. That's just excitement. And then it always drops to let you down. This is like this internal feeling that's saying this is the beginning. This has already started. We're deep into it. You know, we just haven't had the blast off for the space. But, and you know, he, he commented, uh, he said, text back some, yeah, it's, it, it, like he, he agreed with that, I believe. That's my interpretation. But, you know, it's just, it's different this time. You should never say that. But, so we got that. And then we have um, all these, this is great catalysts that are coming. Um, but, you know, ultimately, <clears throat> You know, I'm I'm watching, um, you know, I'm watching Bitcoin move up like everybody else. And I know all these other alts are blowing up. I mean, we're just, we're just waiting. We're just waiting. <clears throat> I played that flare, I played that flare video at the beginning because I don't know, if you watch some of my old videos from well over a year and a half ago, I said that flare is, uh, is, you know, Ripple's an XRP's brother, you know, because, you know, they, they donate a lot of money to make Flare happen. And I said they wanted to walk hand in hand. And I said, it's funny how all the delays Flare had after this lawsuit and everything, I, I, I implied, well, I didn't imply, I stated that it's they are not going to launch until this lawsuit's over. 
And coincidentally enough, that all happened when um, the lawsuit was just about over with XRP. But there's been these delays with the F assets, the fuck asset, the fuck, the fuck assets. And, um, you know, I'm not a fan of Hugo's. But, um, you know, I always compared the F assets to, like, that. I think it was Highlander, that, like, show where the guy would kill people with his sword and he'd absorb their powers and shit. I believe that's what they're doing. And, um going to do but um with these ev assets and the thing about it is is it's funny to me that they're just they just took this another leg up and they're they're going to start doing that their work they're getting closer to that and they're announcing that right now um when in a time where this case is just about to get over it's almost like they started when we you know the case was about to get clarity um on xrp and then, now they're going to finish when this case is done. I just, I think they want to walk through this space hand in hand, not be ahead of their co-founders, if you want to call them that, Ripple, the, the people that gave them money. But it's just food for thought. What do you think? I don't know. I know this. I'm happy to see Bitcoin closed above 38. And um, I'm hoping tomorrow it does. And from a mathematical perspective, there's probably a 65% probability, even at the price it's at, that it won't. But I have to say, things are different this time. And it will, because Bitcoin always seems to let us down. I mean, multiple times I've tried to break through this 38, and it got knocked down. Probably six or seven. Some of those you could count as one, though. But the point is, is we do want it to close above uh 38, I would say 38.3, but 38 would be great. Um, you could even take um, that a little bit lower than that, a fraction. But if we're at 39 at tomorrow's close, fucking buckle up, baby. It's it's a bumpy ride <laughs> in a good way. It's going to fucking, it's great. <clears throat> Light a candle, blow the world away. Table for two on a TV tray That ain't fancy, baby, that's okay All oh, love, all oh, out My heart beats like a drum All night, flesh to flesh, one on one And it's alright, and I'll never let go Cause there's something I know deep inside that you were born to be my baby And baby I was made to be your man We got something to believe in Even if we don't know where we stand Only God would know the reason But I bet he must have had a plan Cause you were born to be my baby And baby I was made to be your man you guys like subscribe share sorry it's hard to hear i got one of these things on but hope you enjoyed the show